I won't claim that I'm a political artist because I don't believe in political art, uh, but I believe in doing art politically. That's a different thing. Uh, one is a category, another one is an attitude or practice, I guess. And at the time I was younger, uh, it was 2006 or five. we had a very big demonstration in Hong Kong against the government, so I was angry, but I actually didn't know uh, what I am requesting the government to change or to do. So I should write something on my banners, but I didn't know what I really want. Uh, I just want to say, okay, over from the government, something like that, but it doesn't make sense for me. It's not enough. So again, I have a lot of hemp in the crop. So I was like, maybe I can make use of them. And in the demonstration, actually people who was in the demonstration with me, who I didn't know them, keep asking me, where is the hidden message or hidden slogan in your banner, but actually there's only patterns, there's no slogan. I need to do two shows in one month, uh, so, so actually for me it's one show, but of course they are not the same, I, because I simply cannot make do one show, uh, I mean do one show in two spaces, because every show is one work for me, I cannot repeat it. The two shows are like uh, two sides of a coin. They are the same thing, but they are two different sides. So the show in Walker looks more poetic or more optimistic, more colorful, but actually it's still quite dark in a way. Coincidence is a very important part of my so-called practice. I would even say my practice is just a coincidence. And other thing is that uh, even till now I would still think I'm a painter because I cannot refuse or deny that I am not a painter. I am a painter. The way I use projection, for example, I basically compose them in a way that, okay, this is a good composition, then I put the projection there, then I put something on the floor to match with the projection. And these composition, it, actually based on the emotions that I want to convey or try to capture. So it's a painting, but it is also referred to, uh, I mentioned earlier, it's about the atmosphere. It was again a coincidence. Uh, that I discovered I can use uh, paintings and projection at the same time. I was too lazy in the exhibition space to switch on the light. Too lazy and also I don't like spotlight. In that space they only have spotlight. I hate spotlight. So I just don't want to go to the other corner of the exhibition to switch on the light. And there was a projector hanging there. So I switched on the projector just to make use of it as, a, as some lighting source for me because I was working on a painting. Then I hang the painting inside the projection. It was a pure white projection. Then I realized the pixel created or projected on the canvas or the, the painting. This is a texture I want. And when I walk closer to want to see the details of the painting, which I'm working on, I see my own shadow. So it was like, yes, I cannot see details. The first thing I see is my shadow. Uh, I think the, the reality is the same. Every time when I want to see the details of a certain situation or event, actually the first thing I notice is my own emotion, is my own opinion. Everything is me, me, me. I really can't tell something simply 
to put a chair in an exhibition space. But because I move, I, okay, it's a perfect position where I put an IKEA chair there. Then I satisfied with it. Then I left. But once I moved, the composition changed. Then I asked again, okay, how can I use it again? So the show itself starts to move, and I also start to merge with this kind of standard aesthetics of all these products. I used to ship all these uh, materials I need to the space, to the exhibition, but then I found it boring. I don't want to repeat things somehow. So now I actually just go shopping. For example, I, sh I did shopping uh, with people from the museum here. We went to uh, Viva, Hubo. Three hours before the opening on Friday, uh, I was still working on the show, but I didn't know how to deal with that wall. Uh, I tried to hang some paintings on there, it doesn't look good. I tried to put something in front of the wall, but it still doesn't look good. And then, so finally, I just want to put two cross over there. And then, actually, the technicians here even gave me free hammers. It's like, you can even destroy the wall. I realized when I cannot smoke indoor, I, my hands start to scratch the table. Uh, then I, I, I don't know, even to now, I don't know how to describe it. It, it is a very important, uh, the, you know, the most important work of mine. Maybe because, it, again, it was not about art. I just want to make a table surface. Because I realized in that moment when I was scratching the table surface, I feel nervous, I feel happy, I feel sad at the same time. Everything has come together. If I earn enough money, then I can do something really meaningless. For example, scratching a table surface. This is my enjoyment in my life. It is meaningless, but I think the meaning of life sometimes is because we have the choice to choose to do something really meaningless. Then we got inspired. For example, art. Art is really meaningless sometimes. <laughs>